My name is Ryan Burke, and I just love guitars. That's why I'm traveling the whole world to try as many as I can. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum Road Case. This episode is brought to you by Big Ear Pedals, harnessing the cosmic power of cats to transport you into a new sonic dimension. Gun Street Wiring Shop, unlock your guitar's hidden tones with an expertly crafted custom wiring harness. Mono Creators, they don't make guitars or pedals, but they do make the best designed boards and bags on the planet, so you have somewhere to put them. And Tour Gear Designs and their amazingly small and flat patch cables. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum. This is my last video of the day. All my batteries are running out. I had to switch to a GoPro for my overhead camera. And I'm on my last bar over on the audio field recorder. So the battery gods have decided this is the last video. Also, I need a break. I need a rest. It's time to go out and have dinner after this or something. We'll figure something out. But anyways, I thought, what have I missed today? What's the thing I haven't done? I haven't done fuzz. I've done all kinds of fun stuff, but I haven't done fuzz. So I wanna do the thing that I usually do for fun at the end of videos, where I just slam a bunch of fuzz with a baritone. And instead of saving it for the end, I'm just gonna make that the whole video. And I've got a bunch of fuzzes here that I've never tried before. Legendary ones like the Roland Bebop here that I've never, I've never tried this. The Rush Pep Box. I basically know nothing about it. Josh was talking and explaining it to me and it just all flew right out of my head. I don't have any memory of what he said. <laughs> it's all gone now. Uh, this Ibanez, I've seen these around. The standard fuzz. Yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. Newer stuff, like one of the newest things. This way huge guy. I watched Josh's video on that, so I wanna try that. The Decomposer by Mountain by Mountain Anking Electronics. I think I said the name right. Oh, oh, clumsy. The DoD Buzz Box. Legendary, noisy little guy here. The Magator. A collaboration between friends of the show, Fuzz Rocious and Electro Faustus. That's gonna be fun. Maybe I'll close with that one. All right. Let's start out with the Bebop because I've already got it plugged in and ready to go. Here's my dry signal, Dan Electro Baritone, tuned to BB. Perfect for the Beba. BB with a Beba. Let's get crazy. I think there's like a channel switcher here to go in between the fuzz and a treble booster. Surprising amount of options on this old effect here. And then a fuzz tone select.
Ah, that's bonkers. I really like that. There's some controls up top. Too much fun. On to this Rush pet box. This one's gonna be a little bit challenging to plug in because it has a cable built into it. I'm gonna use, um, use the way huge here as a junction box. And the way huge will just stay off. Kind of falls apart when you turn the fuzz down. It's not as versatile as the Bebop, but it has that really fun sort of gated thing going on. I don't think there's any reason for me to compare right now. This isn't about comparing. This isn't a shopping guide. This is me experiencing fuzzes that I've never experienced before. <laughs> fun. I mean, I love a gated fuzz no matter what.
That is that is a unique sounding fuzz. <laughs> It's really different. It feels like, meow. Just dropped my pick doing that thing. Meow. That is different. The Ibanez standard fuzz. There's something there. There's something that I'm bonding with, with that character. I didn't even mess with the tone change. That is a very different sound. Like that's a more standard fuzz, even though it's pretty different. That is huge and like weirdly hollow sounding. What a trip. I'm gonna have to research standard fuzzes. Maybe find myself a clone or something. All right, let's move these to the back. Move all the new boys up front. Come on, new boys, get up here. Let's start with the decomposer. This one looks compelling. Like a uh, like a fuzz builder, a bunch of switches, and then just an input and output knob.
A bunch of fun. That's a fun fuzz pedal. Let's try this Electro Faustus Fuzz Rocious collab now. Two builders that I'm already fond of. I already have their their spring thing. I think they called it the fly or something. I don't remember, but I've got it in a drawer at home. Do I have it plugged in right? Ah. Engage the springs. Oh, it's this switch up top that I couldn't see due to the angle of the pedal. Seems like you've got to choose between the springs or the strings, baby. Is there any fuzz on the planet that isn't fun? I mean, just, it's almost the name of it. They should just call it funs instead of fuzz. All right, I'm gonna do the buzz. Let's save the buzz box for last. That'll be our, our closing number. But I am very excited to try this out. The new way huge art, art, tidies, artides, artides. Artides? Uh, Atreides. 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 I don't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa!
You want your parents to worry about you? You get one of these. I thought the buzz box was going to be the weird big closer. It's got a lot to live up to. This is weird. It's just ridiculous gating, swirling. Sub octave ridiculousness here. All right, here's the scenario. You're, you're, you went to a show. The first band played. Your friend's band played and they opened. You're standing outside. You're hanging out. You're talking to your friends. The other band is setting up. You don't know them. You don't really care. You're probably going to go home after your friends you know, pack up their drum kit or whatever. And all of a sudden you hear... <laughs> Coming out of the venue, out of the small, like, dirty, dirty dive bar venue, you're running right back in. You're going to see that next band, because listen to that. That is the come hither sound. You cannot resist that sound. You are going back into the club, and you are going to just lose your mind. You're going to just blow every calorie you have left in your body dancing and grooving to whatever that band is doing. <laughs> I don't know what the rest of the band sounds like, but man. It is a compelling sound, and this is a box of weird. If you're looking for that one weird thing on your board, that finishing move to your set, or that starting move to your set, the kill shot, this is the kill shot. What am I saying? Do any of these words make sense anymore? When you film all day, the way I have, your mind just turns to jelly, and your words don't make sense anymore. And you honestly, you honestly wonder if any of this will be publishable. You know what I'm talking about? I think it's really interesting that almost all the pedals that I grab off the wall here, or that are handed to me, have all the knobs turned all the way down. They have some sort of thing that they do here, where they turn all the knobs. Does that save your pedals, Josh? Does it preserve your pedals to makes leave? Me, makes me feel more complete. It makes them feel more complete. All right, buzz box. This one's, okay. like there's people who joke about metal zones. There's people who joke about grunge pedals. This is like a sub layer meme for people who really know pe pedals, like the buzz box. I think I found the most usable sound in it. Sounds like 
when you're at a really, really loud show and it's so loud that it's farting out your eardrums and you should definitely get out of the room right away. This reproduces that sound. This is your ears are unsafe sound, but you can do it at a controllable volume. So that's convenient. It's a fuzz plus a low octave ring modulator is what I think is happening. <laughs> Yeah, this is the sound when you're outside the club and your ears are shot from what you just heard in the club and you're standing outside trying to like figure out if you have it in you to go back in. I say don't go back in the club. If that's what you're hearing when you're standing out on the street. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is fully an unsafe noise level simulator. If you want to know what it sounds like to be inside a dangerously loud venue, that's this. It's doing it. This is that sound. I have experienced this sound many times in my life. They should have this. They should have this at, at doctor's offices. When people come in and the doctor sizes them up and they're like, oh, you're in a band, aren't you? Let me show you something. Do any of these sounds sound familiar? And then you're just like. And if the musician's like, yeah, I've heard that sound before, you need to quit. The doctor's gonna tell you to stay away from music for a while because you're hurting yourself. That is a wild pedal. And it's amazing that there's anyone out there talking about these at all. I mean, I guess there are some conventionally usable tones, but there's so much static and noise on this. You really got to build your band around that sound. What do you guys think? I want to know. Let me know in your comments. Thanks for watching. Huge thanks to, uh, to Josh Scott and crew out here. I didn't want to name everyone's names. I didn't know if they want to have their names mentioned. But there's a bunch of people walking around and they have all been very helpful, very hospitable here. I, I just really appreciate them hosting me for two days, basically. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna film a live video with them. This has already been out by the time you watch this, but uh, we've been having a great time. So huge thanks to JHS. Click the links down below. Go subscribe to their channel to thank them. And uh, you know what? Stay grounded. Bye everybody.